so there's a lot of karate content that I've been very invested in. And so I've come across this video of Joe Rogan talking about kata and karate. And it's just like for me, when I think about or w when I see something new that I do not understand, I actually take the time to understand, to try at least get an explanation of what is it that I'm seeing that's new that I've never seen before and I'd like to learn about it. But with the thing is with Joe Rogan, I mean, like, I'm, t I'm totally going to just say it. Like, there's two white men basically reacting to something that they are not familiar with. And so these guys, like, of course, you know, probably endorsed by UFC, you know, talked, talked with, uh, like, a lot of muscle men. And, but when they see the karate, they just don't understand the, the sport. So we're going to watch the video, and then I'm going to explain to you what I did not like about it. 100%. Because, like, if you're, like, a karate guy and you used to, like, point touching each other yeah. and shit. Did you see that karate I, I was about to bring Olympics? it up. It was unbelievable. The guy it was loses unbelievable. by not, he wins. How do you feel proud? But he loses. He, how do you feel proud? You get knocked out yeah. in the gold medal matchup, and you win the gold, and the other guy's disqualified? He's disqualified for, for hitting, hitting you too hard. hard. <laughs> and, he, and here's the thing that was fucked up. It was oh, like, no. It's not like he was standing there. He kind of leaned in to the kick. Yeah. Like, yeah. he bent over, and the dude caught him. So it's kind of on you a little bit, too. Yeah. Let's watch it. Let's watch it, because it's so dumb. And uh, I didn't. A friend of mine sent that to me. And, Look at uh, this. <clears throat> here it is. Like, Look at this. They're, Look, he they're already criticizing the gameplay because they're comparing it to, like, you know, fight UFC fights. Lean he back. bends yep. over. Yeah. And to be honest, it's a counter. The guy throws a straight left. Uh -huh. He counters with the kick, catches him. Hit and him then perfect. he's just fake sleeping. Oh, he's Get sleeping. Get out of here, dude. He's sleeping. The Tokyo 2020. Like, here, we could we could look it up. Tokyo 2020 gold kumite final. What? They didn't even like. That's wild. Right here. Yeah. Saudi Arabia, which is crazy. Which is crazy. Also, I mean, I I understand the ridiculous ridiculousness of it because he also leaned into it, but like there has to be like more to it, which I'll explain later after this. Oh, he thought he won too, poor yeah. guy. Well, he should have won in a real-world scenario and any other rational sport that's a combat sport, he won. <laughs> that's the problem with, like, Olympic combat sports is they try to take the <laughs> violence out of it. But what? But see, the thing is, it's just like... What, what, what's crazy to me is that... He, here's what it is. Kumite, and to just give you the actual definition of kumite, all right? So the definition of kumite is freestyle fighting. Right, the meaning of kumite, gra like grappling hands, uh, part of karate in which a person trains against adversary. It's discipline and control. If the whole point of this is to have control of your punches and kicks against your opponents, and that's the whole point. Karate is not like a, of course, it's like a touch base. Like it, 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 that, that's what it is. That's exactly what sparring is. And of course, in real life scenarios you are going to use your 100% force to just get out of any fight you're in. And especially, like, they're going to talk about kata right now, which is honestly something that they just don't understand. So wa watch. Can, let's just continue here. What are they going to talk about kata right now, I think? Sparring. Hmm. Five kilogram kumite final. <coughs> yeah. So dumb. Ridiculous. Yeah. Everything he's saying. Oh, they oh, so they have uh, individual demonstrations like kata, and then they have one-on-one oh. -on -one kumite. That's the most ridiculous one. And I'm the not trying kata. to shit on this guy. He'd probably kick my ass. But the guy won. The Olympics play different rules than UFC. Like, and look, he's like he's literally making fun of it. This face is so embarrassing. Just to like every person, every person in karate is just gonna be like looking at him. Just like, dude, you just don't get it. You can't make fun of it. But like, just the the point is like you have so many people watching this guy's podcast and listening to it and they're literally like th those people who are invested in joe rogan 
are going to take it as face value and be like, dude, yeah, karate is dumb. UFC, mixed martial arts, like there's nothing against it. It's just like they're just gonna they're just gonna hate on karate because they just don't know what it is. Yeah, WWE and WWF, it's like we know it's like a show. This face, not the vibe. Not the vibe that you're supposed to be showing to your audience. You're supposed to be open and understand and what karate is all about. But like you just you're just mad at the fact that this guy lost the gold because he knocked him out. That's not the point of sparring. That's not the point of kumite. The point of kumite is control and he didn't ha and he just didn't have control. It's just the adrenaline. I want a gold medal for yeah. dancing. Getting KO. Oh yeah, for the dancing. Could you believe it? They called kata dancing. I just, I can't believe that. They don't know. The kata. For the kata. Yeah. But it was just choreography. Well, you can win for gymnastics. Yeah, but gymnastics isn't a fight. Like, I, I see martial right. arts as, you yeah. know, it's, it's fighting, right? right like, right, right. in order to be good at it, you have to be able to do that shit on someone. The, ka the kata thing is, like, you would have to learn those to get your belts. Like, you'd have a kata yeah. for... One specific one you had for blue belt, a specific one you had for green belt. And I remember when I did Taekwondo as a kid, we had that. Yeah. We had yeah. to learn all that. Yeah, I hated those. It's, it's so funny because, like, they compare it to Taekwondo, and everyone compares, like, karate, Taekwondo, Kung Fu. Like, they're all the same. They're not. They're not the same. It's just funny how they just compare it. Like, Taekwondo is completely uh, leg-based. Tricking base, like that's just what they're focused at, which is fine. Karate, especially kata, it's it's a form of like a story. Like I said it before, like a story of a fight. The literal word of kata is form, and the thing is, like here, you know what? I I could even show you like the the gold medalist for for the kata in the Tokyo Olympics. Uh, first of all, karate was originated in Okinawa. And what's cool is that he actually won, and he's from Okinawa, and they actually talk about, like, what kata is and how it originated from. Uh, I mean, listen, I want to continue listening to it because I, I'm, he I'm here for the nonsense, to be honest. Uh, yeah. The, the forms. Pumse. American <coughs> and the gold they, Of course, like, Pumse is a Korean word, but, like, they're not even, like... This guy is. won. He won, he won the first ever karate medal in men's kata. The first ever for America oh, or yeah. the first ever time they handed it out? Uh, America's oh my God, first this ever. is so ridiculous. Yeah, Look at his face. The He's so serious. Mm -hmm. Literally criticizing the ridiculousness of a kata. Like, are you serious, dude? Like, learn. Don't criticize it. Yeah. Good the thing enough. is, like, it's not a bad thing to practice movement. Mm. Like it's almost like kind of like a form of yoga in a way. Mm. Like you're That's practicing that. moving your body, and if you get really good at doing those katas, it'll probably enhance your ability to move, which will enhance your ability to spar. But you're not giving anybody uh, a medal for shadow boxing. Definitely for him, like um, for shadow boxing. But he's the most ignorant one. Good fucking point. That'd be ridiculous. Good fucking. And point. imagine you it's not. Shadow boxing, though, like literally shadow boxing, like there's no form, there's no choreography, uh, there's no story behind it, nothing. Walk Walk around. Around. I'm a, a boxing gold, gold medal. medalist, a gold medal <laughs> for shadow boxing or hitting the cobra bag, you know, <laughs> that's a, a, a bag like bag work gold. <laughs> The bag work gold medal be better than <laughs> this. Because we can at least this see something land. Air yeah. kicks. Yeah. Like, you know. Oh, like, this poor guy just got back to America with his gold medal. Yeah. We're just trash. This is the him. guy who won. He was, they were going against each other, though. Oh, and this guy. Anyways, it's just the ridiculousness. Here's the thing, right? I, I still enjoy Joe Rogan because he questions things that society is just uh, blindly. Uh, that the society blindly just moves forward to, you know? And it's like things that are put in place, Joe, I in terms of like, you know, society, Joe questions. He's like, dude, well, why is it like that? Well, let's talk about it and things like that. But society itself, they're just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it is how it is. But Joe's like, no, why? And that's what I like about Joe. I, I enjoy, th I mean, not everything Joe is going to talk about, I'm going to agree with. But for the most part, 
what he does talk about, to be honest, I do agree with. This specifically, he was very ignorant about, and he didn't want to learn because he just he's literally comparing it to UFC, which you can't really do. It's it's completely two different like uh, subsidiaries. I mean, he gets friends, but also at the same time, when there's a really specific subjects that people are talking about, or there's specific things that like happen within the community or within the industry. He brings like people that are involved and questions them and asks about them and things like that, which in turn, like I, I thoroughly enjoy.